ride guys we arrived I'll give you kind of a view of the neighborhood this entire development <clears throat> is developed by Sunwood Homes so all of the properties in the area are similar in style and feel lots of modern gray and light tan stucco with matching roofs the neighboring property has solar over there and we are essentially on the on the edge of the cliff like we're in a face of this canyon that drops down below this property you ready to do this yeah let's go check it out yeah it's a super clean community like even though they're the hoa is not doing landscaping it looks like every house looks like brand new and yeah, clean. Yeah, does a great job. Well, it's because every house is brand new. <laughs> well, the whole, like even down below all, this whole area. And the house within the immediate proximity right next door, uh, the basement is already framed and the upper level is going in today. Should we cover the exterior from the front? So like we were telling you guys before, um, there is, I think you could probably see the red line right there. So 10 feet of this wall, you're gonna have a wall that goes in right it here. It might be like, it might be closer to eight feet. And there is a basement window right there, just outside the basement window. You'll have just a little bit of a block wall and then a gate right here that will go from the block wall to the block wall. And the gate is optional as we discussed, but let's, let's go in. Oh, and then we'll have to come up with landscaping design yeah and um, so we'll have to have that in before Monday at 11 for Monday yeah I yeah. will um, I'll send you guys some drone photos so you can try to come up with a design of what you want in the back and we'll show you what I like we'll show you what they've done with previous homes too let's see this is a grand entry and all of the exterior and interior selections have been already made Currently with uh, supply crisis that we're all in, uh, most builders order everything specifically for each spec house before they even pour foundation. Okay, so entryway. And, and there is a staircase that goes down to the basement right here. And some of the other homes we sent you had pictures of the iron um, railing. So there's gonna be a, handrail on this side and down below. And then on top of here is just gonna be that metal iron, um, what's it called? Just iron, iron railing. Yeah. It's kind of modern, um, keeps everything nice and open. So right when you walk wow. in to the left, we've got one bedroom with a full bathroom. And all the areas that do not currently have flooring, you will um, essentially have carpet, carpet in these rooms. It's a cool window. This is a nice large window that opens to the front of the property and kind of a privacy window to let in more light. This is a, like a white, is it quartz? Yep, quartz countertops. And a more of a, kind of a darker brown. Wood. Dark oak, are those soft uh -huh. clothes? Uh -huh. Yeah. Beautiful, nice large mirror. Um, I think, is that the spot for the throne? Yeah. And then there's a shower tub. They did tile. They still need to come in and grout it. Got a little Linen closet. linen closet and then a walk-in closet right there that's nice just for the bedroom this is a good size and they'll probably put all the um could this become a casita <clears throat> i wonder uh no i mean your entry is right there but yeah. this this bedroom is pretty much self-sufficient it's like a master suite it has its own bathroom yeah. okay and then off to the right is a little powder bath. So we've got the toilet, nice big mirror, same quartz counter, but with white, white soft, cabinets in soft there. yeah, white soft close cabinets. And that's nice to have off the kitchen and family room for guests. And then 
nice big closet. There's plenty of storage in this home. Yeah. Michonne Good fits. Size. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then got your family room, kitchen, huge open floor plan. And the views are to die for. What I really love about this too is there's no, uh, no carpet in this room. And the LVP flooring has some really nice wide boards. And the color is beautiful. I think it matches the paint and everything else in this home perfectly. Mm -hmm. It's got the tray ceiling. Looks like a lot of can lights too. So there'll be a lot of light in here. Oh yeah. And take a look at these views. I think this is a really nice thing about this home is that you have a really private backyard, nobody behind you. It drops from the edge of the backyard, probably another 30 feet. And then you have this ravine. Essentially, this is a canyon that Look. goes through the back. Huge patio. This is a nice sliding door. I'm not sure how safe it is well, to well, walk just, out on the patio But yet. it probably is easier to see than through the windows, dirty windows. Yeah, this beats the dirty window. But we'll have to show you guys the drone to get, I don't know if this does it justice. These but the downstairs awesome. patio is the same same size. And this, this property does have a daylight basement or a walkout basement. And you do not sacrifice any of that view from the basement. Let's take a look at this kitchen. Let's so see. similar combination of uh, brown for the, the center island fixture and then white cabinets for the rest of the kitchen. Same countertops. White quartz uh -huh. countertops. I love what they did with this backsplash. Like it looks so good with the countertops, with the floor, like it ties in perfectly. The color combination is great. So you've got white quartz. There's just a little yeah. bit of a shiny flake. Uh -huh. And this will have most likely a gas. Um, yeah. Is there the, does it show the? Can you see the stuff out? Yep, there's a gas line bag there. Awesome. So you'll have a gas cooked up. Look at nice huge drawers. That's awesome for storage. We have soft closed drawers, herringbone pattern on this. Double trash can. Love trash. The big sink. And this is also a hidden butler pantry. Look at that door. That's oh, door yeah. Yay, my favorite. <laughs> That's awesome. Your microwave and the wall oven goes in here. And then huge pantry. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way around. No light anywhere. Hopefully we can see inside. But yeah, it goes all this the way back here. Huge. Wraps around the breaker panel and the termination for all of your comm and cables. That's nice there. to have it all hidden. And the attic access in the pantry, which is awesome. This space is huge. You should go over so much. The other side, so, <laughs> so big. There's so much room for activities. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've explored this portion of the house. What's down this hall? Let's There's see. There's a hall that takes you in from the garage. Got a little mudroom area, coat racks some shoes, baskets, laundry room. It's a good size, but it's not overkill. No, they, didn't, they didn't kill a ton of square footage into the laundry room, but yeah. they have some nice built-ins. They'll probably have like a little bar up there to hang clothes on. Yeah. And then the dryer can be either electric or uh, gas. And then they did the same thing with the white on top and then they did the dark. I think it looks good. I like that everything kind of flows throughout. Yeah. Let's check out the garage while we're at it. And I did speak to Robin. They are going to hit the cost to install two 220 outlets. I'm assuming you guys want two for both contestants. Yeah. Really good size three car garage. This is probably the bathtub that's going to go in the master. Nice big soaking tub. Mm -hmm. No jets. It is a really good size. 
good height on the yeah, the garage doors. Yeah. And there's a side man door that takes you out to your side yard. And it does drop down substantially into your backyard. Oh, and there's a there's a covered window, but there's a there's a nice good sized window right there too. Good sized window right here that's covered for the Not sure what they're doing with which one's gonna be the real color. Uh, I think it will be the agreeable gray. And or maybe did they just do the baseboards that color? I don't know. No. They'll probably do the gray? Usually the garage has a one tone. So, okay. Or two tone with wide ceilings. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. They'll so probably do the same gray yeah. that's in that, here. That's my guess. It's okay. It'll be that same gray that you see on the walls here. Okay. This property has a nice uh, shaped uh, doors throughout. And they are eight foot doors. Let's continue mm -hmm. this door. Okay. Master bedroom. Master bedroom is right behind the kitchen and essentially on the opposite side of the house That's from the other bedrooms. Lots of can lights. You get to wake up to this beautiful view every day with sliding door access to the porch as well. And there's a little bump out on that side. To. I'll kind of put my arms out so you can try to. You be careful. incredible. So that's your sliding door for the kitchen. Lots of light. Sliding door for the master. And you see Pine Valley Mountain. And you get to see Pine Valley Mountain to the north. And as I told you, the neighbors have the solar set up on their roof. Cool. Dang it, they didn't put the outlets up high for the TV. Oh, that's easy enough to wire. Good space. Two sinks. This is where the tub's gonna go. Frosted window. Holy closet. My gosh. Oh, and then this these big huge square tiles. They're gray. They're kind of a nice grayish. Gray non-slip <clears throat> tile for you. It looks like it has some texture. A really large closet. Yeah. Nice and big, three little cute windows up there. And this tile they did, they did a white with the gray. The gray kind of matches the, the gray tile on the flooring. And it matches the hardware, it looks good. I like uh, the idea of separate vanities because then you're not fighting over the counter space real estate. Well, this is tough because normally like Normally she gets the bigger one. Which one's bigger? They're like equal. That's good. That's good. <laughs> see, see, that's exactly what I was talking about. Well, I'm like, well, which one would I pick? I'm like, man, that's tough. They're the same. <laughs> okay, water closet, nice and big. The throne room is massive. And then linen closet, good size. Lots of storage. And then they did the same theme in here with the tile, the white and the gray, and then gray on the bottom. Good size shower. It's got a little lip. Nice tile at the bottom and nice lip so it doesn't leak out. Mm -hmm. Let's go check out downstairs. Let me shut this. Okay. Sliding doors is a pretty expensive but very necessary touch, especially if you've got to use like this. I'm glad they put so many windows in here. Like to see all of this. Uh, lots of natural light too. Now we're heading downstairs. There'll be two railings. You could put some plants and some decor up here. 
little shelf. And tall ceilings downstairs too. This will be carpet. They said anything that had the LVP flooring is already in. So um, right when you walk down the under the stairs, Watson's closet. It's big, goes all the way around. Okay. And then to the left, it's kind of dark down here, no lights yet, but this is a really good size room. Wow, they all have their own bathroom. Oh, I should have brought my phone so I could show you the, so I could use my flashlight. Oh, this phone has like really crazy. Look at this flooring, I love it. Look at this tile, can you see it at least? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, wow. And then, um, let's see, I'm gonna try to tell you in the dark. So this is that white, um, that white slick. If I can turn on video light. Maybe. The tile in the shower is that white shiny subway tile. And it's got a little shampoo shelf. So it's got the tub insert with the tile. Um, toilets over here. Same countertops, same white cab soft clothes cabinets in here. And walk-in closet. Yeah, and it's a good size. Okay, and then right across from that room is gonna be like, is this like the utility room where the the, um, the sump pump and- So it looks like the return filter is gonna go over there. The furnace is gonna sit right here. Um, this is all the plumbing from the HVAC and the furnace will send the air up through those three vents that are distributed throughout the rest of the house. Um, the sump pump goes in there. That's the obligatory thing for Southern Utah. If any portion of your house is below grade, you have to have one. Uh, I'm not sure what that's plumbing is for. But this will just kind of be extra storage, like an extra storage room. And I'm guessing room. The, the, actually the water heater will go in right there. So you'll have your water heater here and bypass for the water softener. Hmm. So that's a really good size utility room. Yeah. This is like the same size as upstairs. That's exactly the same size. Yeah. It's huge. Who's uh, over this corner? These windows are daylight windows. They're currently covered from the top to prevent the debris from falling down here while we're still in construction. And I'll stand this corner to give you guys an idea of the size of this is. And this is carpet as well. So that corner will have a full-size kitchenette, room for the second refrigerator. That's the return from the other side. That's uh, nice. Sink. A full-size fridge. Spot for a microwave. It's There's really nice. really tile. Nice so this part will have a little bit of tile. Yeah, so that portion will have tile right there. And okay. then we have what, two more bedrooms down here? Yeah. So these two bedrooms will share this bathroom. Uh-huh. And that's where your backyard steps up to the front. Probably like a 10 foot drop. Oh my gosh. I'll keep Watson in. All the closets are huge. The closet goes around the corner yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Good oh, size. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay. This is probably the same, just going the other way, I'm guessing. This would be a, a nice office too. It's a really nice size room too. I would make this an office with these views. Same, big closet. The desk right there. Yeah. Imagine all this stuff going on just to view. That lumber package is for the build max door. Same closet. Yeah, it's a really good size. Can we go check out the backyard? Yes, did you already look at that bathroom? Yeah, we checked out this bathroom briefly, so it has a Does this open? single vanity. Oh, cool. That's open. Sometimes they're like fakes. Oh, they kind of did a, like a different theme in every bathroom, that's fun. Large tile, and there's similar flooring tile to the tile that we saw upstairs. 
It's the spot for the toilet. Good size window, or good size mirror rather. Mm -hmm. My French. My French. Lots of cameras down here too. Take yeah. They just run all the way across and three rows across the sinks. Plenty of light. Beautiful double sliding door. It takes us out back. And this will all be concrete as well. We have a bit of a concrete pad that will go all the way across. And take a look at these views. There's a wash that drops down below. That's what the HOA covers. And the HOA covers that, uh, is that retention pond? Yeah. So, and yeah, they had the block with the iron fencing on top. And then. And these neighbors have uh, just the iron fencing that runs. But the one they're going to do here, is it like double height of this? So where you see that red line, this will be a six foot block wall basically running all the way across. And then there will be a column at the very end, like by that spike. And the iron fence will be six feet tall. So it'll be, you know, to here. And it will run all the way across to that side where you'll have a um, four foot block wall between you and the neighbors with two feet of wrought iron coming all the way up to the top and the side of the property. But the iron fence that are going to do here, it's going to be... It's going to be taller. Yeah, yeah. Six feet. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's going to be taller than you. All right, guys, we'll show you some drone footage of this property so you get a better idea and feel for this space. Mm -hmm.